The next thing is we are going to use this very big AI to solve difficult mathematical problems starting from the simple arithmetic problems maybe word problems and then we can go to some more complex algebraic problems to see how far and how fast can we solve these problems and see how accurate even this um, ai tool can be so let's go on i have some simple questions for example let's start with uh, some basic word problems so we select this first problem select and let's say we print this first one for a party jim had five whole number one over three bottles of cola for her friends to drink okay she has this much bottle she drank one over three of a bottle herself her friends drank three whole number one over three of the bottles how many bottles of cola does jim have left okay i think this is very technical and very critical problem only ai can solve this problem in this speed okay we have to do a lot of uh, to solve the problem and it will show us the various speeds involved so let's uh, hit on enter and it will automatically understand that we are prompting it to solve this problem okay so searching for how to subtract mixed fractions so this is it has even understood that this is mixed fractions uh, this is being i can help you with this math problem okay method one converts to proper fractions so you have to convert everything to proper fractions and you can see it has converted everything to proper fractions and it is doing the subtraction and you see the answer is 5 over 3. Method 2 is subtract whole numbers and fractions separately. So you have to go on uh, subtract the whole numbers and fractions separately and it has done that for you. And it says so Jim has 5 over 3 of the bottles or 4 whole number 2 over 3 bottles of color left. They, they are, they are the, the equivalent answers and you can see based on the two methods uh, these answers are correct and it has shown you the various steps involved to, uh, to arrive at this answer this is very technical problem and you can see it just solves it within a matter of seconds so let's try another one and i think this is also quite, quite tricky but then let's see how fast it can help us to solve this so let's see roku has 1.5 liters of orange soda and 2.5 liters of grape soda in his fridge Antonio has 1.15 liters of orange soda and 0.62 liters of grape soda. How much more soda does Roku have than Angelo? I think this is very, very technical, but let's hear what this AI tool has to say about this. It is just quickly understand that this is how to subtract decimals. This is subtracting decimals and it's going to give you, yeah, I can help you with this problem too. So you can see the method Roku soda is this much. Uh, subtract you can see the answer is 1.98 liters okay so Rocco has 1.98 liters more sodas than Antonio you can see the little at uh, Rocco soda this is the total and then this Antonio soda this is the total and then it compare the two by subtracting and gives uh, it gets 1.98 liters very very accurate and fast the speed is what matters and accuracy so this is the second one let's prompt it with another a little bit more challenging than the first one and the second one let's say we go with this one and then just paste it here this is a bit more challenging aaron candy aaron's candy container is 20 centimeters tall 10 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide this is about volume bruce container is 25 centimeters tall 9 centimeters long and 9 centimeters wide find the volume of each container based on volume uh, whose container can hold more candy so this is very direct question okay so we can just hit on enter and let's see what it's going to prompt and what kind of problem is this really okay so you can see so how to find the volume of a rectangular prism okay so let's hear the responses i can help you with this problem too to find the volume of a rectangular prism you need to multiply the length width and height so it has multiplied the length width and height for aaron's container and it goes uh, 2000 cubic centimeters bruce container length width and height it got 20 25 cubic centimeters so based on the based on volume the bruce container can hold more candy by 25 cubic meat cubic centimeters see it has just done it perfectly and very fast so this is how to prompt it to answer mathematical questions you can go ahead regardless of the difficulty you can uh, copy the questions and paste it over here and it's going to solve it for you directly so let's get another sample question for example let's say this question we have this question consider the following this in fact this is an image so we can convert it into a text by just coming to this website uh, um, 
can see this is uh, email to text you can use this uh, OCR website okay OCR website image to text so you can just save uh, collect or copy from wherever you have it you can see here it, you can choose and it's to just help you to convert it to a text so start the conversion and it's going to convert it directly for you to into a text so you can just go ahead and copy so you can see it has just converted it and this is the text so all you need is just to copy this equation and just copy and go back to the prompt and just prompt it to solve this equation for you so you can pass this this is a bit technical so you can see find x and just hit on enter and let's wait for it to solve it for you this is might be this might be very direct but then let's see how to solve linear equations so you can see okay i can help you with this too to solve linear equations these are the steps let me show you how this is it you just go expand the brackets combine like terms and then go ahead the equation has no solution because there is no value of x okay so there's no value of, so this one has no true solution but let's go ahead and see if we can do uh, for others as well so let's say for let's say for this equation this very one we can have the equation we can convert this into a text and then copy this equation and see because this one now we have the solution and t is equal to 4 so let's see we can download it i've just downloaded mine so let's go back we can come to image to text and let's try to convert it okay this one so let's try to convert it it has uploaded so let's say start okay so it has started and it has converted everything so you can click to open so solve this you can copy the, the text is it okay let's check 4 into 8 minus 31 is equal to 32 minus 8 is it correct let's just confirm this 32 minus 8 into t plus 2 so we have to make some edits it's not exactly direct so we can just uh, remove this yeah so this is um, 32 minus 8 the 2 minus 8 into this okay so this is the equation so we just copy it so we can copy up to here and say solve this we can copy and then we are back to our bing ai and we can just paste it we can just so solve this so we can hit on enter and let's see what it's going to do for us sure how to solve linear equations it's going to solve this perfectly for us okay i can help you with this too to solve linear equations you need to inverse operations to isolate the variables let me show you how okay so this is it and expand the brackets you can see uh combine like terms okay subtract 16 from both sides and you can see simplify and you can see your answer is a negative 80 oh so divide both sides by 8 and simplify further you can see t is equal to 13.5 is it is it correct so let's check and see which one what's the value of t from the other side okay what's the value of t from our question t is 4 oh, t is 4 but why are we getting t equals to 13.5 4 into 8 minus 3t all right so let's check the question and see 4 into oh this is where the problem is it gives us uh, 4 into 8 minus 3 31 because during the conversion to text we didn't convert it correctly so we can say let's try to uh, instead of 3t it gave us 31 so it's not correct so let's paste it again and ask it to solve it but here we specify this is 3t okay so when you say 3t let's hit on enter and see how it's going to solve this for us with the correct one of course definitely it's going to give us the answer it's equal to 4 which is very direct so let's see how it's going to solve it for us okay so i can help you with this too solve this this is this this is it uh, expand the brackets combine the like terms and see the answer is four so t is equal to four and this is correct very perfect so it all boils down to you what input you gave it and that's what it's going to output for you so for this case you can see we have gave it we gave it the wrong answer and it has given us uh, garbage in garbage of what we gave it is what it gave us but then after correcting you can see it, we are, that's just giving us the correct answer so the whole idea is for you to understand that this ai tool can help you to solve complex mathematical problems just go ahead and give it sample the questions and just paste in there and ask it to find x or solve the problem and it's going to solve it for you okay ladies and gentlemen i think that does it for this tutorial on how to use the bing ai to solve mathematical problems thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one